They are easy to get but hard to quit. Last year, 91 million prescriptions were written for anti-anxiety drugs that are known as benzos. These drugs can be addictive and withdrawing from them can be absolutely grueling. 60 Minutes Plus correspondent Seth Doan is joining us live with a closer look at the struggles some patients are facing in weaning themselves off of these drugs. Good morning, Seth. Good morning, Suzanne. Now, Seth, let's talk about some of these drugs. They're called benzos, and why investigate this group of them? Benzos is short for benzodiazepines. They're all those drugs that you recognize people throw around the names, Clonopin, Ativan, Xanax, Valium. We found them, of course, referenced a lot in pop culture, in music, on television. And you mentioned that number, 91 million prescriptions written in 2020, roughly one in eight American adults take them. So they are everywhere from our pockets to pop culture. And we found that there is this subset of users who feel that they were not adequately warned. We talked with people not only taking small amounts who were having difficulty weaning themselves off of it, but also people who were taking huge amounts. You might have heard of that rapper Lil Xan, his short for Xanax. He was rapping about Xanax a lot. He'd started on a he started on a small, relatively starter dose of 0.5 milligrams. At one point was taking it, what he says was 50 times that starter dose. And he had really replaced the kind of doctor's prescription with what he could find from dealers on the street. Uh, and, and then the issue of coming off of it was something that we heard was a real problem for people, that they just felt they had not been warned by, by their doctors. And Seth, we are looking at some video of a young lady. She looks, you know, happy and healthy. Uh, can yeah. we talk about her a little bit? Sure. Grace O'Keefe, that's who you are seeing there. She was started after a, a sad, uh, she was abused, she said she was abused as a, as a teenager and went on a, another typical starter dose, 0.25 milligrams. And over the course of seven years, working with her psychiatrist, up the dose slowly, slowly, and ended up taking about five to six milligrams a day. We met her in the middle of this process, what's called tapering, trying to come off of it. She was 240 days into this taper, a taper that was likely to last, is likely to last more than a year. And she says, that she has these massive rebound panic attacks. She has excruciating headaches. The panic is worse than it was before she started taking the drug. And she said she was never really warned and she felt that it was safe to keep taking this because she was always working with her doctor, with her psychiatrist and following the directions on the label. So Seth, this sounds so serious and so many people are dealing with it. 91 million. Are there echoes of another prescription drug epidemic? Yes, out in your neck of the woods in California, we spoke with Dr. Anna Lemke at Stanford. She's in charge of addiction medicine there uh, at, at Stanford. And she was saying she was one of the early doctors out uh, warning about the opioid crisis, the beginning of that. And she's called this America's next and other prescription drug epidemic. She sees a lot of echoes there. She said, there is this sense that because a doctor is prescribing it, that you can't get addicted to it. She said, that's absolutely incorrect. She's been trying to help hundreds of people wean off of this drug. And she says in her research, she's found often doctors are just not aware of how addictive this can be because as we we're starting at the top of the segment, it is such a commonly prescribed drug and it's part of part of conversations. How many times do you hear, oh, Papa Xanax or take a Valium? It is just part of everyday life for so many millions of Americans. Well, Seth Doan, so glad you're shining a light on this. And thank you for joining us this morning.